Welcome to Old Classic Car, and the theme for this particular video is cars with Mini Light wheels, or Mini Light inspired wheels. And to begin with, we have a very shiny Ford Consul Classic two-door saloon on Mini Light style wheels. Uh, I think, personally, some cars suit Mini Lights better than others. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Some of the cars in this collection, I think, work really well. Others, I'm not so sure about. Next up, we've got GKK 959D. This is a 1966 Riley 470. 72 um, mini light wheels there of course and I think they do actually suit it really well next up a Sunbeam Tiger of 1965 and again I think those wheels really really suit it back in the day mini lights were a popular choice for people competing in rallies and so on they were lighter and they also offered extra brake cooling Talking of rallying, we've got a 65 again, um, this time a Hillman Imp rally car, much wider wheels on the back, of course it's rear wheel drive, rear engine, uh, and I think that just works really, really well. I think a lot of it comes down to the width of the wheels as well. Next up, a TR250, this would have been left hand drive, an American market car back in the day, it's obviously been converted, um, and very smart it is too, and again, I think those cars do suit mini light wheels. Next up, a K Reg, so 1971 MG Midget, one with the round we uh, rear wheel arches. Um, does that car suit Mini Lights? Possibly, I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments. Um, I always welcome your feedback on these things. Now, two for the price of one. We've got a Hillman Imp in the foreground and a Mini in 1966 Austin Cooper S in the background on 10 inch Mini Lights, as the early Minis used to be. And I think both of those cars look really, really well. Now, a Daimler uh, SP250, the Daimler Dart, the V8 powered car. This one has these alley wheels. Now, do they suit this particular car? I'm not entirely sure about this one, let me know. Next up, a review of a GTM kit car, mid-engine, so the engine is right behind the, the driver and passenger seats. Uh, 12 inch mini light wheels as found on later minis, the classic minis. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure, but this looks great, I think early mini mark 2 mini cooper on black and silver mini lights 10 inch again looks really really good i think Fords were often fitted um, with mini light wheels back in the day and still are today, especially sort of competition prepared cars. And here we've got a 1964 four door Mark 1 Cortina on mini lights, and I think that looks very purposeful indeed. And the first of several Volvo Amazons to feature in this collection. This is a slightly modified estate, a station wagon version of the Amazon. Uh, let me know in the comments. I think these Volvos look really good on mini lights. The earlier PVs, I'm not quite so sure about. Here, we've got a Mark II Jaguar, a race prepared Mark II. Very sunny Capesthorn Hall classic car show and a rear three quarter view of a super rare Ford Corsair GT convertible. Presumably that's a Crayford conversion. A very smart set of wheels there, polished rims. Escorts always look the part on nice wide mini light wheels, and uh, this V Reg example of a Mark II Escort is no exception. Now, Western Park 2022, so fairly recently, and I spotted this MGB GT, a J Reg car, on mini light wheels, and I thought they really, really suited it. To Silverstone now, and a rear three quarter view of a 1970s BMW 2002. Very, very wide section wheels on there, and I think the stance and everything about that just looks absolutely perfect. Another classic Triumph here, back to 1965, as with several of the photos so far, and this is a Triumph TR4, uh, and that looks really good indeed, I think. It's got the Surrey top with a centre panel lifted out on the roof there. Another Volvo Amazon, a four-door saloon, it could be a 121 or a 122S. Uh, again, 1965, I'm not quite sure why so many cars in the here are C registration, but they certainly seem to be. Back to Silverstone again, and we have a race prepared Austin A30. We can tell it's an A30 by the shape of the front gutter there, and also the smaller rear window, which is just about visible. Race prepared there for Rowan Atkinson. Now to an evening meet, a classic car meet one evening we had in 2021. 
We've got a Mark II Cortina Lotus here, uh, two-tone mini lights on this particular car. A proper old ball now, REO 726M. This is a Mazda RX-3 rotary engine car registered in August of 1973. Quite wide section wheels, look like original 70s wheels as well, not repros, very good. Next we have a Triumph Vitesse Mark II convertible, 2 litre car. Many, many Triumphs turn up at shows on mini lights. There is an argument to say that too many cars really are on mini lights now, but let me know your thoughts. To Silverstone we have the 1800cc version of the BMW Neue Klasse Saloon. These were built from 1962 to 1977. to Western Park again for the historic rally festival this time and we saw this uh, notchback VW a 1500 car from 1964 on black mini lights and I thought they suited it really quite well. Now the last car I would have imagined to see on mini light wheels probably is this Datsun 100A of the mid 1970s. Uh, do they suit it? Let me know. The original car would have had pressed steel wheels and some odd little wheel trims as I seem to recall. Now, two for the price of one. In the foreground, we've got a Ginetta G32 Ford Base. These were built from 89 to 92, and only 115 of these were built. And the MGB alongside also has some very similar wheels on it. So the NEC Classic Car Show, and uh, definitely ticking the box for unusual vehicle with mini light wheels is this Bedford HA van. Silverstone again in the pit area. We've got an Austin Mini Cooper S, original 10 inch uh, wheels there, period looking tyres and tread. That looks just perfect. Another Triumph, this time we've got a homegrown TR5, the fuel injected TR5, the two and a half litre engine. Um, again, the stance, the colour of the car also determines, I think, where the Mini Lights suit them, and I think that looks really good. Mini Lights seem to work well on dark painted cars, I think. Next up, a side view of a V4 Saab 96 rally car. Um, these wheels are actually by Ronal. They made the wheels specially for Saab back in the day, uh, inspired by Mini Lights, but not exactly the same. Now, Alton Park, we've got a Series 3 E-Type. Uh, I think if those wheels were bright, shiny silver, I wouldn't think that they would suit it. Um, but as they're sort of slightly dull silver finish, I think they do actually look okay on there. Now, TR3A, um, two-tone, uh, mini light style wheels, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure that they really suit the car. Uh, the one alongside has wires and I think they're a bit more in keeping on a 1950s car, but let me know. Uh, it's a car that does seem to suit uh, mini light type wheels, especially with the centre knock-ons. Here we've got a race prepared Austin Healy 3000, one of the big Healy's. A little modified Ford, we've got a two-door two rather Ford 100E, it's either an Angley or a Popular on mini light wheels, much wider at the back, and I think that looks pretty smart. I do like reverse rim steel wheels though on the fast Fords. Now, somewhat modified MG Midget of the late 1970s, about 1977, we've got mini lights, uh, unusual fast back roof there as well, and I think it probably started out as a rubber bumper car. Now, Capesthorne Hall and a slightly modified Ford Anglia 105E. Wider wheels on the back, narrow wheels on the front. Well, I think that looks really cool. To Alton Park, uh, just a few years ago, we got a side view of a race prepared MGB Roadster, complete with hardtop and roll cage. And uh, yep, I think those wheels really do suit it. Got a TR4A here on similar wheels. This one's from 1966. In case you're wondering, this uh, this video isn't sponsored by any wheel manufacturers. I just used the, the wheel type as a theme for this particular video. Another sporty little Brit here. We've got a Mark II Triumph GT6. Nice gunmetal grey car. Um, but again, I think I prefer the uh, deep uh, steel wheels that you could get for this particular car. The 5.5J steel with the uh, normal hubcaps. I think they suit them better. Back to Silverstone, we've got a Marcos here, race prepared Marcos. Back to that evening meet that we saw earlier on, we've got a Mark II Ford Escort Sport. Uh, that looks very smart on those uh, deep dish mini lights there.
back to Western Park and we've got a much modified Vauxhall Forenza Coupe. Uh, looks really nice on those wheels, not too big a diameter, that's what often looks wrong on old cars. Huge diameter wheels and very narrow tyres. Um, Spitfire Mark III now down at the Haynes Motor Museum. Um, I've never really been a fan of mini light type wheels on these cars, I must admit. I'm not entirely sure they suit this particular Spitfire, but again, let me know in the comments. It's all very subjective, this kind of thing. Now to Western Park again, we've got this fantastic rally prepared RS uh, 1600 Escort. Mini lights, of course, popular wheel choice back in the day for rallying in the 1970s, and I think they look just right on that car. Now, we've got a Volvo P1800S. Saint Mobile. Uh, dark green though this particular car and very large mini light style wheels and again do they really suit it? I'm not entirely sure. And here we go here's a rally prepared Beetle being given some welly at Western Park as well on a different event this was in 2020. Now down to the Haynes Motor Museum and we've got 27 ALO. This is a rarity this is an Elva Courier from 1959. Looks like it's seen a bit of circuit use, judging by the size of the wheels on this particular car and those flared rear arches. Back to Western, the slightly damp Western Park. We've got a Sunbeam Talbot Lotus. Uh, looks great on those small diameter, uh, deep set mini lights there. The second of the uh, modified Anglias to feature in this particular collection. We've got a dark blue car here. Looking just about right, just mildly modified, slightly lowered, and I think that looks really, really nice. Now, two photos now of a late 70s Saab 99 Turbo. This was fairly recently at an Alton Park event, probably the Gold Cup. Um, I've seen this car for at least 20 years at different shows over the years. So here it is as it is now, painted wheels. And this was the same car just a couple of years earlier with the silver unpainted wheels. Um, which would you go for? I actually prefer it personally with the wheels as they're shown here rather than the dark grey painted. I think they just lift the car a bit. Now down to, I think this was Bista, uh, another Sunbeam Tiger, the V8 powered version of the Sunbeam Alpine and you've got a little tiger tail hanging out the fuel filler neck on the back wing there. Another classic Volvo, this time a two-door Amazon, slightly lowered all round, mini light wheels and really, really looks the part. Again, 1965 C registration car. A trio of Triumph Stags now, headed by a dark green example, TPT145M from late 1973 or early 1974. Three quarters of you now of a Mini 95 pickup from late 72 or early 1973. Proper 10 inch wheels on this example. Looks just right on a Mini, I think. Back to Western Park, slightly overcast day, but never mind. And a rally prepared Chevette. Is this an HS or an HSR perhaps, or a replica of? couple of TR6s here and uh, on the left we have a TR4. The yellow TR6 is on mini lights as is the TR4. The white TR6 on the right I'm not quite sure. A side view now of a Lotus Elan. I think that sits very well on those wheels. Centre lock wheels. It's an unusual little car from 1964. This is a Fairthorpe Electron Miner home built car. You could buy the kit and assemble it yourself. Side view now of a Datsun. This is either a 240Z or a 260Z. I'm sure someone will know for sure. Um, and those wheels really suit that car, I think. Next up, we have a fairly late example of the TR7 convertible, two litre engine of course, going off the badging on the side there, and a very shiny set of mini light type wheels. Very smart. Now the Saab and the Ronal wheels, like I say, very similar to the mini lights, but not the same. Uh, V4 powered car, rally prepared, really, really nice example. This I think was at Sywell. Back to Alton Park, and we've got an E-Reg Lotus XL. Now, 
I'm not entirely sure those wheels really suit it personally, but like I say, it's all very subjective. Uh, one person will like something, one person won't, but I'm not quite sure if it was mine. There's a lovely little car, swoopy little Ginetta. This is a G4, registered actually in 2002. So quite a late example, but I think that is a gorgeous little car. Various other Ginettas around it as well. Another modified Chevette. This is an S registration car. Is it an HSR or replica of an HSR? Those wheels look stunning, I think. And there's that Firenze alongside it that we saw before when it was over at Western Park. Big Heelys have always had uh, mini light type wheels and this one's no exception. This 1967 Austin Healy 3000, rally prepared. What a great looking car that is. So Alton Park and we've got an Alpha GTV here, either a 1750 or a 2000 GTV. I hope this uh, collection of cars with the theme of mini light type wheels is of interest. If you've got any ideas for themes for future videos, let me know in the comments, please. Next up, also Alton Park, we've got a 1964 two-stroke Saab 96. What a lovely little car that is too. Mini based is the Midas. Um, again, this was at the NEC Classic Car Show a couple of years ago. Fiberglass body. To Western Park and the various rally cars on display, including this fantastic ex Bjorn Voldegard uh, Toyota. Down to the NEC again, we've got AIJ5969. This is a Sebring style MGC GT, so that's got the three litre straight six under the bonnet from 1967. And on those knock on wheels, centre lock wheels, absolutely stunning. And a similar colour but different wheels, these are Ronalds, is a Saab Sonnet. The early cars were two-stroke and the later ones were V4. In all, there are 100 photos in this particular set and another Corsair and another convertible version of the Corsair. This has some very deep section wheels on it and they look just right to me. Another Ginetta XPD 999G. This uh, one time used to belong to someone who takes part in the old classic car forum. This is a Ginetta G15 from late 1968 or early 1969. To Alton Park and one of their rally days. We've got a Mark II two-door Escort being given some welly. spotting in the parking area at a different Alton Park event we've got this which is a replica of the Lotus Elan Plus 2 prototype registration 828 DMB very different front styling to the uh, the factory production cars also at Alton we've got a two-door Mark 1 Lotus Cortina at speed again 1965 seems to be a bit of a theme with many of the photos I've chosen here very purposeful looking 240Z or in this case it's a Fair Lady Z according to the badging on the front wing there so it makes me think this is probably an import huge alley wheels on it um, the JDM style arches as well this uh, MGB lives locally it's quite a late example it would have been a rubber bumper car and it's been converted to the three and a half litre Rover V8 engine Alton Park and driving past the Scrutineering Bay is this uh, circuit racing prepared Rover SD1. Still a few classic cars to go with the Mini Light theme and here we've got a late rubber bumper MGB Roadster looking very smart on its wheels there. This was down at Slape Airfield in Shropshire. Triumph here, TR2 I think it is, and uh, I think the car looks a bit old for those wheels personally. I like the Triumph symbol in the centre of the wheels, but I prefer the wires on the car alongside if I'm honest. Next up, a 1980s Ford Escort. I think this was prepared for rallying or rally cross, possibly the RS1600T. I'm sure someone will know for sure what model of Escort this is, but it certainly looks purposeful on those rims. And here's Wales' finest FTY 917L is a Gilburn Invader Mark III from late 1972.
the Triumph Herald. We've had Spitfires, we've had GT6s and various TRs, and now it's the Triumph Herald 1360 Saloon, exhibiting a bit of rear wheel tuck up there due to the independent rear suspension. This was spotted at a classic car auction held at Donington Park many years ago. F registration Morris Minor Traveller. Quite a bright, sharp looking example too. Where is it now? If you own any of these cars, please say hello in the comments. And another classic Triumph. This is a Mark IV Triumph Spitfire. So it's got the revised body lines in the Mark IV and the 1500, but still has the 1300cc engine. Back to the NEC, the classic car show there. And we've got this Simca 1000 Coupe SWL979F. What a sharp little car that is. To the paddock area at Alton Park in Cheshire, we've got 191 WNK, a TVR Grand Tourer, and this race car dates to 1963. It sits just great on those wheels, I think. It's all about how the car sits, and again, the colour and so on. There's lots of different uh, variables. Now, an MGA with sensor lock wheels. Again, hmm not entirely sold on those wheels on that particular car but you know what do i know now a very smart very straight looking mark three mini j reg car from 1970s that's first of the minis with the hidden door hinges uh, 10 inch mini light wheels really really nice car and a radio a roof mounted aerial as well Next up, a Reliant Sabre 6, much modified car with a straight six engine. I think this had a Raymond Mays headwork on it and a fancy set of carburetors there as well. I'm sure that car went very, very well indeed. Got a Morris Minor. Moggies are, they're one of the cars that I don't think really suit Mini Light style wheels. You know, I might be wrong. Let me know what you think. Um, but I'm just not entirely sold on Moggies with those particular wheels on them. Here we've got a Sunbeam Alpine RBG 791 is the registration. This car was registered in January 1963 as a 1592cc four-cylinder engine under its bonnet. Big Finder model. And here a twin cam Mark I Escort looking very, very sharp indeed. This was near Whitchurch in Shropshire. This photo was taken a few years ago at a classic car morning meeting. Just a couple more to go. Got a late TR7 fixed head coupe version here the frog eye sprite The Volvo Amazon, the two-tone Volvo Amazon, and I think that looks really good on those wheels. I really do think that's a sharp-looking car. And rounding out this collection of uh, photographs with the theme of Mini Light and Mini Light style wheels, we've got a Mark III GT6, and like the Mark II earlier, I'm not entirely sure they suit the car. I think the uh, the deep wide steel wheels look a little bit better. Anyway, that's 100 photos of cars with Mini Light or Mini Light style wheels on them. I've seen it shows over the last 15, 20 years or so. So thank you very much for watching this particular video collection. There are loads more on the channel now. So please take a look around before you disappear and there'll be more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.